July 4th weekend. Poof. What a party. And for all you people who think that all I do is party, party, party. <laughs> well, you're close. But I just want you to see this. You're wondering what's going on. Well, I got to tell you, this is my life right here. And, well, this is part of my life. This is after this, which is my first book. And I am now writing my second book. And I got to tell you, the complaint I got with my first book, which I really can't say it's a major complaint, was that people said it was too short. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, let me explain this to you about writing a book. It's just one of these things where you start writing and writing and writing and keep on going until you say, okay, I've written enough. Well. The reason I had written enough is because COVID was over. And um, that was the reasoning that I did the book. I did the book because uh, uh, to relive my life and for you folks to understand how wild, crazy, fun, exotic, erotic my life actually is, which it is, which everybody who knows me knows that. <sighs> then I decided, well, what happened is people just said it wasn't long enough. I got a lot of great compliments on it. You can get it on Amazon in case you're looking for it, in case anybody who hasn't gotten it yet, but I've made a lot of sales. And a lot of people love the book. I mean, you can go back and, and um, listen to uh, the, the accolades from people who've read it, uh, <laughs> and they love it. Um, and I loved doing it, and I love sharing my life with everybody. But now, this is book two. Uh, check it out. And yes, I do it the old fashioned way. I do it by hand, um, uh, reading into the, uh, the, to my cell phone and um, bring it over to uh, Office Max and having them do whatever they gotta do. And <sighs> it's not easy, but it's fun. And I'll tell you what I love about it. And if you guys do your own book, you're gonna enjoy this also. What I do is, is I relive my past. And by me reliving the past, it's, um, it's exciting for me. And I'll tell you very honestly, I mean, when people hear about this stuff or read about my, my past, they're like, they scratch their heads and say, you gotta be kidding. Now, everybody keeps saying to me, what's the name of your second book? Well, the name of the first book, as I think you all read, which is right here, uh, drugs and roses that's the first book my next book is called more drugs less roses <laughs> yes more drugs less roses and I mean if you think about it the title says it all um, what I've done is this I've done some short stories uh, just to prepare you for the long stories and uh, that's in my preface, the preface of the book. So it ain't that easy, I'm telling you right now. I've been working my ass off on this, but don't get me wrong, I'm also partying my ass off too. So um, I've been having a great time for July 4th. I was out at numerous parties. Um, I did uh, restaurants and uh, clubs and uh, boating. <laughs> And um, just didn't stop. Uh, I'm having a great time. But it's now the end of the weekend. And it's time for me to get back to the swing of things. This is how I left it. Right here. And that's the mess that I left. And now I'm here to start working on it again. Um, What's the prognosis of this? 
Prognosis is I hope to be done by October. And um, if it's done by October, and, um, it, and that's if it's done by October, then I'd like it to be to the people's hands by December. Um, it will be a Christmas gift that you can give to your friends. You know, I told everybody in the beginning of my first book was, look at, if you like the book, you know, I'm glad. And then I said, if you don't like the book, buy 20 copies and give it to people you don't like. <laughs> Listen, that's just my humor. And for all you people who know me, you know I'm pretty humorous. Um, I, no, I mean, that's what people tell me. <laughs> but this book, well, this book is a little different because this one gets into my age where, well, people didn't think it was funny what I was doing in these, in the, my older age group. Um, or I put another way, I couldn't get away with it. I couldn't get away with a lot of stuff. So, um, which you will soon find out, you'll soon hear about, or you'll soon read about. Now, let me tell you something. I just want you to be prepared. Don't hate me when you read this, okay? Um, and you'll understand when you're reading it. You, some people may not like it, but I have to tell you, I mean, you know, I had a couple of women who were nasty, who said some nasty things about my first book, and I understand it. I really do. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's funny because, honestly, I think everything they do is funny because I don't take things that seriously. And all my friends out there know that about me. You know, we're here for a short time, so I'm the first to agree or to believe. Just have fun while we're here. And uh, don't take things so seriously. And when you read book two, More Drugs, Less Roses, well, let's put it this way. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this one. So I'm in my mess here right now. I'm uh, just finishing up the preface. I've got, I'd say I'm about halfway done with this book, about halfway done. And I'm, I'm planning on making a trilogy. So for all those that don't understand a trilogy, that means three books. Uh, let's see what happens. But book two is gonna be fun and you're gonna like it. And you're gonna sit there and say, what the fuck? Everybody have a great time, and I hope you all had a phenomenal July 4th and um, getting back to work. See you guys. Ciao.